Do you struggle growing potatoes and getting a decent crop? Well, in this video, I may just have the answer for you. Be sure to view right to the end because this might just change the way you grow potatoes forever. Welcome to UK Here We Grow. My name's Tony O'Neill. If this is your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button and bell icon to be notified every time we put out new content. So last year, I ran an experiment to see which was best. Potatoes grown in the ground or grown in containers. And the result shocked a lot of you, with potatoes grown in containers having double the yield over the potatoes grown in the ground. So this year, we performed that experiment again. Now, that experiment threw up a lot of chat and comments in last year's episode. And that was all based around the fact that some of you thought it wasn't a fair trial, mainly because potatoes that were grown in containers had compost in them and potatoes that grew in the ground had soil in them. So in this year's planting episode, which I will put up in a link up in the cards above us, we spoke about the differences with that. So I really suggest you go up and have a look at that too, because that will explain my reasons behind and what we did to the ground as well as the containers to try and balance out this trial a bit more. But there's one point I wanna make about growing in containers uh, over the ground. The whole idea about growing in containers isn't to put the soil from the ground in the container. It's about being able to control your growing environment to get the best yield. After all, that's what we're after. Who cares whether or not you can be able to put them in the ground and get the best yield or in a container and get, get the best yield? What's most important is getting that yield. The potatoes are pretty much over now, both in the ground and in the containers. Now, it's been a really challenging year this year. It's been absolutely boiling. And of course, I got a feeling it's gonna be a year for the ground potatoes because they have been protected from that heat. They've been able to be insulated. We've even put bark chip over the row that was uh, here against the row of containers, just to help these ones in the ground keep that moisture in. The containers, however, they will have been getting hot. Number one, they're black, so they absorb heat. Number two, they drain the water out of them very quickly. So if this year the potatoes win from the ground, then we're gonna perform this experiment again. So as you can see, the tops have pretty much died off now. There is still a bit of greenery here, but today is the day we're going to pull them for this experiment. Now here in the buckets, we have the row on the left and there's still quite a lot of foliage on some of these, but to make this a fair trial, we're gonna pull them at the exact same time. This is the row on the right here, which is the potatoes in the ground, which were next to the broad beans. And like I said, we put some bark chip over those just to help keep that moisture in. So I think we better get on with it. Now the containers.
So I've dug this over a couple of times here and undoubtedly there's probably the odd spud left in here but uh, and if I went through the same with the potatoes I've probably missed some in the containers as well but here we have a bucket on the left which is the ground and we've got a bucket and a bit on the right I'm going to lay them both out on these lines that are behind me here and uh, and then we'll have a look at what we got On the left guys we've got the potatoes that are grown in the ground very good size but you know can't moan about the size of the potatoes but look at the difference again in buckets the ones on the right of me are ones grown in buckets again really good size spuds some smaller ones but overall we've got about half the amount of gain than we did over the potatoes in the ground. Now, I'm not gonna bother weigh them. You can see the difference here. Um, I think it's pretty clear. Containers win again, guys. That's two years running that the containers have probably nearly double the yield. Um, do you know what I'm gonna do? Just to see for definite, I'm gonna go and get the scales and we're going to get a weight on these so we can see just how much difference it is. Because sometimes it can be, cons uh, you know, conceiving that um, some of them are smaller and, and what have you, maybe some of them are heavier. We'll get the scales and we'll find out. Okay guys, I've got the scales, but we will have to move them off here onto a hard place to, to weigh them. So I'm gonna put these back in the buckets. So bear with me while I do that. All right, guys, I'm just gonna take these buckets up there and we'll take the scales up and we'll do that. Okay guys, I got a nice empty bucket here. I'm just gonna put it on the scales. And I don't know if you can see that. It's showing as 8.95. So if I tear this off now, so that's now showing zero. We'll do the container ones first. Ah uh, sorry, the ground ones first. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'll take a photo of it. So uh, you can see, there we are guys, 17.38 kilos in that one, 17.38. Okay, really sorry if this is uh, really bad. Okay, first one of these. And that one, 17.221. Yeah, it's flickering back and forth. So call it 17.2, okay? Yeah, kilos. So we're only about 0.2 uh, 
uh, point one behind at the moment and we've got this one to go as well and that guys is another 11.4 so guys containers we've got tw over 28 kilos of potatoes and ground we've got over 17 kilos that's a 10 kilo difference in the containers now as you remember from that video which you'll see in the cards we planted 20 potatoes in the ground and we planted 10 buckets and two potatoes in each bucket so they've had the exact same amount of potatoes they've had the same water because i've put a certain amount of water per plant per day so they've had the exact same water now this year i would have thought that the ground would have had it for keeping that moisture but it shows the results are showing guys yeah two years running the containers are nearly doubled over what the ground has done I think this is just a done deal guys growing in containers is much better than growing in the ground yes I know it's not the same as putting soil in a container because Lozu said that last year yeah and I know maybe the soil isn't maybe wasn't as rich as the compost but bear in mind guys compost the feeding compost lasts about six weeks it's nothing okay however last year I put loads of green manure into that ground it got loads of manure on top of it as well so the potatoes had loads of feed that the compost didn't to try and balance that out yeah but the results are exactly the same maybe it's because they warm up quicker in the buckets I'm not sure yeah all I know is containers rule as far as potatoes go question of the day guys how do you grow your potatoes let me know down in the comments box below. I'd really be interested to see how your potatoes are done with this heat. I'd also like to know whether or not you're gonna start growing in containers like these. Now these potato containers all come from Oakland Gardens. Um, as, as you guys are aware, I'm a big advocate of them. They're, they're fantastic, they're heavy duty. You throw them about and I've been using them for years and years and years. So that's the results of the container versus the ground experiment again for a second year running guys. Do you really see a point on a third year? If you want that third year experiment let me know and I'll maybe possibly do it again next year. I'm Tony O'Neill, this is UK Year We Grow and remember folks, you reap what you sow. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.